All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to organize our array up here. And if you go down here, you see my disk location now. I can actually see my array where my disks are at. And if I hover over, it does give me the um, operation status. So if I go up here and click on the settings, you can see that I can see the drives up here and what drive is in which bay. And another good thing that we can do on this, if we go into our tray allocations, and if I want to notice, like for example, which one the C gate is in, and I know it's in six, but if I didn't know that, I can hit locate, and then I can go downstairs and I can see the light bleeping in base six. So if you don't know where your drives are at, this is a quick way to identify it. So if you want to know how to set this up, just stay tuned and we'll get it set right up. All right, so what we have up here is we have our dashboard. We have our array down here, but we go down here, we don't have the GUI to show what disk bays are in our array. So to fix that, what we're gonna end up doing is we're going to go up here to our apps and then once we're inside our apps we're just going to type in dislocation and then we have the dislocation we don't want the developer edition um, we just want the regular dislocation so we'll go ahead and we'll hit install all right so now that we're done we'll just hit done then what we need to do is go over here to settings and then we go down here to our dislocation and then we want to go over here to our system and we want to force scan so what we're going to do is we're going to scan all our drives and we do that just by hitting like the force scan and then we're done we just hit done the next thing we want to do is we want to go over here to the configuration and if you want to change your colors and what things means, you can do it over here. Um, this is what visible is on the front page. You can set that to your liking. But right now, we're going to do our disk tray layout. So I'm going to hit this, and I'm just going to name mine like the um, array. And for me, I don't have like 24 down there. So my columns are, I have four going across. And I got three rows in mine. So I'm going to save that. And you notice now I got that. Now this is set up like my R730. Um, now I also have two internal drives. No, not internal drives, I'm sorry. I got two drives in the back. So I'm going to add those in there. And for these, um, I'm going to have one column and two rows. And I'm going to make those vertical. And I'm going to end up um, call these my back um, trays. And I'm going to save this. And then I got these backwards. I don't like them looking like this. So I'm going to change this to two and then one. Two columns and one. Now, that's right. So we have it up like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to my tray um, locations. So from here, these are my trays um, right here. And then this is my setting up here. Again, if I don't know what drive these are in or what bays they're in, I can hit locate and I could run downstairs and I can see the blinking light um, on there. So again, so here's my um, Seagate. I can hit locate. If I run downstairs, the light will be blinking on that. And then when I'm done, I just hit stop. So I got two groups here. I got the array and I got the back tray. So for the array, I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to go and number my drives. Now my particular drives are still in order. Um, <clears throat> I already checked this out. So I can just go down here and put mine in just like this. And then Yours might go from like four to seven to three to nine or whatever. It just, you, you know, you know your machine. So you're going to, if you don't know, again, just hit the locate and it will show you what bay that that's in. 
So we'll just go down and I'll continue hitting the arrays down here. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do these later. Um, but if I wanted to do them now, I could do the back trays. And then I can just hit one and two um, on there. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to do those later. So I'm just going to hit save for now up here. And then once that's save, I can see all my drive information right here. Now there's other things we can do by, you know, changing the purchase date. And then, you know, have the warranty on there. I don't know all that information. I just have a bunch of drives in here. Uh, but if I did, I could put these comments and stuff in there and customize this all I want. Um, but for now, that's pretty much it. So if I go over here to my um, drive section, it would just show the drives in the groups right there. Um, there's some additional information if I click on information on the drives. And then, you know, the device, it just shows my smart past, the temperature, shows it's a normal operation. So this kind of visually gives you that quick look. And again, you know, if um, this is a way that says, oh, I know that my disk 5 bay is bad, so I'm going to go down there to disk 5 and I'm going to pull it out. So you'll know all that information will be at your fingertips. So if I go back over there in my dashboard and we scroll down and we see it, it's right there. And it just looks nice and clean and stuff. And like I said, um, you can go up and set up. I will set up my back trays later. Um, you know, off video, it doesn't really matter because it's the same way that we did it on the array. And that's it. And I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving week. And, um, you know, like and subscribe if you can. All right. Bye.